Hello, and today I am playing Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. And aside from the um, Knights of the Old Republic games, this is my favourite original Xbox game. So you play as the titular, titular character Stubbs, who is obviously a zombie. And you ransack a 1950s um, era ta fictional town of Punchbowl and start a zombie apocalypse. And I've got, and obviously since it's the 1950s, everybody thinks the enemy are communists instead of obviously zombies. And it's full of good old fashioned B-movie humour. So the goal is to eat as many brains as possible and start a horde. And you can use your own, we use your own body parts as a weapon. I've just Those moves I just used then was uh, chucking your own like pancreas as a grenade. You can also throw your hand off to possess people. And have them fight for you. Right. They're running away scared, so I'm going to leave them for my zombies to pick off. The shame is, the people you kill as the possessed humans do not become zombies. So, this is not a fantastic way of building up your horde. Well, this is on normal difficulty, by the way, and this is one of the later, later levels in the game. I think it's like one of the, maybe the second to last level. Oh, these guys are annoying with the sonic rifles. They don't do damage, they, put, they push you away, and then they do minuscule damage. As you can see on the right, those are my attacks. I have my head, which you can rip off and throw like an explosive bowling ball. My hand, which I have um, shown off. The pancreas and the fart. Fucking glorious. Now I have, I've eaten enough brains to pass gas again. And um, a perfect example of the humour in this game is uh, Stubbs is leading the zombies, they all obey him. So in one level you take over a farmhouse and it goes into a cutscene of a real inspiring speech from Stubbs. And all he's saying is brains constantly, just brains over and over and over again. Just in the manner of a general speech, and it's quite hilarious. You bitch, I'm gonna blow you up. So, yeah, this is a definite must buy. For any zombie zombie game lover who owns an original Xbox. Shit, this bloody hell zombie. They're both dead and they'll come back as zombies. Here's another example of the fantastic humour of this game. Look, if I don't get this bloody antibacterial solution in the bloody treatment basin, some zombie could just walk up 
up here, have a wee, and then we're all done for as soon as tea time rolls around. She's always like, excellent idea. I'll piss in the water supply. And that is literally what you have to do. I can feel it. Yeah, part of this level you is you go pee, piss in the water supply. Alright then, show off the last power, the explosive head. Yep, I'm here. It's chewing my brain! Yeah, I was originally planning to record one of the early levels, which is just Stubbs um, starting a apocalypse in a small part of town, which is just preying on innocents and the police. But then I decided now I'll do this because it's more of a challenge. And you don't need to even eat the brains to become a zombie. As long as a person is killed by a zombie, they come back as part of your horde. Just eating the brains is a big bonus. A big juicy brainy bonus. Eat pancreas. They're both running around like retards and boom! And unfortunately since they died of not of not stubs, they won't come back as zombies. And it's just something really, really satisfying about seeing everybody you've killed now following you. Doors open. I am doing literally this. I am pissing in Punchbowl's water refinery. Alright then, now that I've got some zombies to back me up, back to my urination. Contamination level at 25%. Damn it, I wasted the fart. You bitch, I hate you. Into my piss wasser. Yeah, so last minute. Stubbs a zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. A definite must buy for Xbox, the original Xbox owners. Simply just for its crude and amazing humour. And just overall fun gameplay. It's pancreas. Thank you and see you in my next vid.